Welcome back to my studios. Today I want to take a look at a pen I recently purchased. It's the Monza 3 from Monteverde and I purchased it through Goulet Pens. They had a promotion going with uh, you, got, you received a bottle of Private Reserve ink and so I ordered the pen and the blue suede ink. We'll take a look at this and uh, see what it's like. It's, it's an interesting pen. It comes with two extra nibs, sections, and converters. So basically you could have three pens inked, three nibs inked, and all you do is change the barrel from one to the other to use it. The reason I purchased this, this pen is I was curious to try the flex nib. This pen has three nibs, as I mentioned, a flex nib, a fine, and a medium. So we'll open this up and we'll ink up the, the three pens, or the three nibs, and uh, we'll give them, a, give them a try, see what it looks like. I recently received this Monteverde Monza 3 pen kit. I bought it through Goulet Pens. They were having a special where you got the pen and a bottle of Private Reserve ink. I ordered the blue suede. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Inside the plastic case, we have the pen. We have two ink cartridges, we have the, th the two extra nibs with converters, and we have the pen itself. This one is the flex nib. Let's fill that up with some ink and we'll see what we can do with it. This is the Private Reserve Blue Suede ink. Nice wide mouth for this, this bottle. It's uh, very convenient for filling pens. Makes it very easy. And I don't tend to get as much ink on my fingers. So that'll give us enough to start with. I'll uh, tighten that up, put the lid back on the ink so we don't have any accidents. And we'll wipe it with a tissue. Now, let's get the Rhodia pad and give this a try. I like the color of the sink. The nib is quite smooth. It's quite nice to write with. It's good ink flow. Poor penmanship. but I'm not seeing great variations in the line. We are getting a little bit of variation there. Uh, it's probably my technique. I'll just have to play with it a bit. It's good flow. The ink dries quickly. Now there are two other nibs here. There's a medium and a fine. I'll ink them up. So you can change nibs. All you have to do is pull the barrel off, put it on the next nib. The pens have clear feeds, as you can see, and that's nice when you're cleaning them because you can tell when all the ink is gone. I don't normally post my pens, but this is a fairly short pen. I find it balances better if it's shorter. You also get two of the short international cartridges with, the, with this kit. Uh, it's a black ink. It's a nice touch. So here I've inked up the other nibs. 
So we'll just change over to the other Set the flex nib aside. And this one is the fine nib. So let's just zoom in a little closer so we can see what we're doing. This is a nice smooth nib. This is quite pleasant. It's very fine. There we go. I'll take a look at the nib. Focus on the nib here. You can see that's a fine nib. You see the F there. Now, let's try the medium nib. Just unscrew the barrel. Put the other. This one is inked up with Twisby's Sapphire Blue, which I reviewed in an earlier video. And this is the medium nib. You can see the difference here already. You can also see this is a wetter ink. But maybe the nib is a little wetter as well. But you can see the gloss is still on. The word jumps there. Yeah, that's a nice smooth nib as well. whole thing comes in this package, as you saw, and uh, you can store the pens and the nibs back in the case. Place for everything. Then pops in there and you close it up and away you go. So what are my thoughts on this pen? I overall, it's it's fine. I like I like the pen, and the uh, the fine nib is is very nice. Uh, the medium surprised me. It, it's very pleasant to write with as well. The the flex nib, uh, to be honest, I was a little disappointed. Um, I think I was looking for more line variation, um, and and it, there's there's certainly some. There's certainly some but it, it wasn't as dramatic as I was hoping. Um, 
that's quite possibly me not knowing exactly how to use this pen. Um, I'll let you judge from what you, how you've seen me playing with it in this video. Um, but certainly the fine and the medium nibs are, are well worth it. And uh, I'll keep practicing with the flex nib and, and we'll see. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. As always, stay safe, take care, and we'll see you soon.